And now we want you to have the best Thanksgiving ever, despite the weather. And we have some great recipes that we've been sharing all month long. Daniel Fisher is the executive chef of Indulge Catering, and he has a great recipe using sweet potatoes. Good right. morning. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good to see you again. Busy time of year for you? Absolutely. We got some sweet potatoes here. Last hour, they were in making a cocktail and a crostini recipe. And now, do you call this a salad? Ah, uh, you could call it a salad. A warm side dish. A hash. A hash. Um, Let's call it that. Let's call it a hash. Oh, then you know it's like uh, comfort food. Yeah, yeah, it's great. With this time of year, we got sweet potatoes, parsnips, uh, nice root vegetables uh, in season right now. Um, just gonna saute these a little bit, a little bit of oil, um, some fresh herbs, a mixture of sage parsley, thyme, and rosemary. Now, if you were just cutting these, I know you, you prepared them a little bit ahead of time to, so we could get it get through the recipe. About how long would it take normally for someone to saute these to the right? Um, what I would probably do is just give them a quick saute in a pan and throw them in maybe a 400 degree oven for, I don't know, 15 to 25 minutes oh, okay. actually, depending on where your okay. oven's at. But All right. Nice dish to do ahead of time. It's great too uh, with those holiday leftovers. You can just add a little bit of lemon juice uh, some mayo and sour cream. You've got like a sweet potato, parsnip kind of, you know, salad. Oh, really? Which is good to, to keep around and snack on. I like to go real heavy on the black pepper. Are parsnips easy to find? I've never... Oh, yeah. Well, you can find them everywhere. Everywhere. Okay. Always got to add a little bit of butter. I'm going to see how much little means. Just a couple, okay. couple tablespoons. That wasn't too bad. Let's give these a little toss. Uh, and then to kind of bring this all together, we've got a little bit of a warm cranberry uh, bacon vinaigrette type dressing we've okay. made. So you just take some bacon, kind of render it down uh, with some fresh cranberries, and then add a little bit bacon of- Bacon and cranberries. Bacon and cranberries. In the pan. In the pan. Let them go to town. Yep, you know, about 10, 15 minutes. Add a little bit of butter again. Uh, and then some cranberry juice, and you've got a nice, kind of sweet, salty, tart. Really? Well, you make it sound easy. Yeah, it's very easy. Okay. Some pearl onions, too. What um, did you do to the pearl onions beforehand? Did you brown them up a little? Yep, I just gave them a quick saute, uh, add some color, take a little bit of that harshness off of uh, onions as they tend to have. So then you just kind of work it all together once you get it to. You know the saying, bacon makes everything better. Well, it smells really good. It certainly good. does. It certainly it does. It sure smells like it's going to be awesome. And then you would just do that until it's, the butter is melted down and... Yep. You want to make sure your butter's cold when you add it. Otherwise, it'll, it'll break and separate if it's warm. Then you've got this kind of, you know, uh, separated oil fat kind of oh, look to it. That's not pretty. No. So, so keep you start it with cold butter. Cold butter. And then you'll have kind of this making a sauce right in the pan with your with your stuff as well here. Good tip. You guys are busy for the holidays doing private parties? Yep, yep. Uh, corporate events, private parties. This time of year for catering is naturally the, the busy time. And they might have some openings during the Christmas holiday season, so give Indulge Catering a call if you want them to help you out with your party. And we'll put a link on our website, fox11online.com. Click on Good Day Wisconsin, and you'll find the recipes from today. The Winter gin fizz, the crostini, and then this sweet potato goodness. May I dig in and try? Yeah, we'll actually Is shave ready? a little parm oh, over real do. quick again. Please do. And then I've got a little bit of sage that I fried in oil so it's crispy. And then we'll put that right over the top well, as well. I was going to jump in there too soon. Fried sage? Fried sage takes about 30 seconds in a hot pan with oil. Um, just nice, crispy. Pretty little garnish. And it's pretty. Do you eat it then or do oh, yeah. you just oh, yeah. let it be there? Well, I'm going to try it. Again, tell us the name of your creation here. Uh, it's sweet potato parsnip uh, hash. And again, great mm. for leftovers. Last, add a little mayo. Nice alternative to potato salad. It's delicious. Good. Really great. Good. Happy Thanksgiving. Yeah, you too. Mm, I love it. Give that a try. It's so delicious.